hello guys in this video we are going to be learning how to sew 360 wig 360 so this is how 360 is it's just round round hair can you see it's round this is what they call 360 360 you know it's, if it's full lace all this lace will be covered and some 360 nets comes with nets uh, at the middle some comes like this so when your client sends you this type of wig and uh, there's no there's no nets at the middle next thing you're going to do is to install your wig cap like normal the way we used to install a wig cap normal size 22.5 or 20 or 23 or 23 then you adjust your wig cap normally the way we used to so other clothes your frontal wig so yeah the next thing you're going to be doing is to place the the 360 wig on the on the wig cap so when it comes to 360 wig you will see band at the back. This band at the back will be at the back of the canvas head. Th then this place will be at the front. The owner of this wig have wear it before. So she requested for the wigging. So this place will be here, here, this place will be the other side. So but this place, the free part is too much. We are going to reduce the the net here because here we we'll go around here now we we'll go around the the wig cap this free part now we we'll go around the wig cap so i'm going to cut it out because as the way is excess is not good to avoid any mistake so we are going to in case you come across this type of cap and you see that it's very very the free part there is very very big which here will go around the the 360 why this place will be down here i'm going to cut but not uh, too much i don't need the free parts I don't need it I said the free part is too much. I don't need it. The person that sold it before sold it that way. But me, as a professional, I don't need the excess nets. You can see what I cut out. At least the net is a little bit okay now. It's not easy, only me cutting it. Somebody's supposed to hold it for me. Don't cut too much to the hair. Just make sure that you cut at least half inch to where the hair started. Half inch to where the hair started. Just cut. I'm 
I'm feeling that this area is still big. Let me just reduce it a little bit. See, that's okay. So let us install it now. So you are going to turn it out like this. Turn it out. So this is the front place. This is um, this this place now we cut out we face here. So this is the front. This is the front area. The front area, I mean, this place, the band area is facing here. This place should be at the back here. So we are going to fold it into two. At least let us know the middle part of this front. At least from here to here, here. Then I'm going to fold. Fold it like this. So... Let, let up these two place, these two place to match each other. Yeah. So you can get your middle part. Can you see? Like I said, I've used this hair before. If not, you would have seen another. If it's a new 360, you would have seen another free part here pumping out. So, but they have used this week before. So this is the middle part of the three system. I'm going to put my yeah my office pin there. Then I will go like this. You can see this is the front. This hair should be on top. The way you used to put your closure on top, not under. So we we'll go now. So that place I put uh, the place I put my office pin will be the place I put my office pin will be at the middle of um, will be at the middle of my canvas head. So I'm going to measure. I'm going to measure one inch after the week curve. This is the week curve. So I'm going to measure one inch. This is one inch. So I'm going to one inch from the week curve to the canvas head. See, this is it. I'm going to put um, my this thing there. What is it called? Um, my office pin. I'm going to put it at the middle of the canvas head yeah i measured one inch so i'm going to place it there i'm going to place it there so i'll go to the back now to arrange others So can you see? Like I said, this burnt area will be at the back. Will be at the back. So you are going to draw it down. Make sure the burnt area is. Remember these three parts, this part, this place is the place that I just cut out now. So I'm going to hold here. So I'm putting my pin at the front. Yeah, I'm going to hold here to secure it. Use uh, another office pin to secure. You can use your T pin. Don't know where my girls put on my T pin. So I'm going to draw here down. So I'll make sure that this uh, the band area is outside at least 
is one inch outside again or half inch outside again from the wig cap so i'm going to draw it down can you see it's outside the wig cap now so I'm going to hold it with my T uh my office pin or T pin, whichever one you have. Then this area also the back here also. I'm going to put another pin there. Then I have secured the back. Then what I'm going to check out now is my ear to ear. You can see everything I've lapped now. I didn't know the net is still there. You see, the net will be too big. That's why I said I don't need that. Uh, I don't really need it. Once you put the needle and draw the back, this is 360. The front is set on its own already so this is the front now so this is our ear to ear this is the ear to ear of the customer but i'm seeing something now thinking it's not that well arranged maybe where i place this is not the place i supposed to Put it so let me arrange again. This ear to ear should be the same place. So this is the ear to ear, but here is bigger than it a, a little bit. So I'm going to check this side again. I think it's almost the same thing. I can set one inch out. Let me measure it again. It's more than one inch out. checking my ear to ear the ear to ear i'm talking about is from this place that they join from the back and there is a mark in our canvas head the ear part you can see this is the ear area ear to ear that's 12 inches from here to here like this 12 inches so you're going to place it from there can you see this is the ear to ear area so you just is there see the line at the back see the hair so it's okay this side this side the same thing this is the ear this, this is the ear to ear mark so this is the, the the line at the back under it so i think the front is okay you can also measure it whether the ear part come out from the net here it's supposed to be one inch but now it's more than one inch i'm going to draw it back a little bit hold it down then i'll measure again that's one inch it's okay i'll measure this side again the ear to ear part it was supposed to come up at least one inch here. Yeah. It's okay. So when doing your, you can see the front place I adjusted it before. Uh, so I'm going to adjust the back again.
Mm -hmm. Like I said, this uh, this place should come out. Should come out as in. Should come out after the wood cap. So well done. Throw it down for it to come out the new card. Likewise, this side you can see it's on top of the wheel cap. It's on top of the wheel cap. No, draw it down at least past the wheel cap, then you hold your pin. Hold it with your pin. Then now we are we are good to go. Then the next thing we are going to do now is to sew our wig cap. When you put pin here, is you don't even see if it come out too much. At least you should use your eyes and check. Whether the round area is uh, is well laid. So we are ready to week right now just make sure that everything that come out is uh, like this front now i forgot to put the pin at the back it's not really that easy but once you are watching this video make sure you follow my instruction so this place now is supposed to be tight because i do not hold something there so I'm going to use my T pin and hold it down. Can you see that? Let's see. This is the one inch out. By the two side, one inch out. By the two side, one inch out. Yeah, the hair, the wick, the wick, the nets, um, the nets or the closure. Or the three sixteen net here will come out one inch from the wig cap, one inch from the wig cap, one inch from the neck here. Then at the back, just half inch, half inch. Do you understand? That's one, two, three. Then the back, one, two. And once you are holding it up here at the front, make sure you are holding at the back. At the front here, make sure you are holding at the back. If not, it will shift back. Hold the pin here, hold the pin at the back so that the hair will not shift. So, the next thing we are going to do now is to sew in the, the wig cap. So, after putting it around like this, we are going to use a um, needle and thread to sew here down. Sew this place down. Sew each round. So when you pick, when you pick from the the nets, you pick from the wig cap, then you pass under the, the thread you are sewing and sew. So this is how you are going to sew each round. Sew each round. Then after sewing each round, you do your marking of the sewing. I will come back to that. So I have wig it round. It's 
just sew it round with your thread and needle sew it round so the next thing i'm going to be doing here now i will do the marking marking so if I, as i'm using my machine to sew i'm still going to use my machine to sew here around again before i start wigging anything to ensure that is well um lay down very well on the whip cap so i place my pin from here to here so i'll start from this uh, half inch here i mean this is nine eight seven six five four three two one and the last one so after that you're going to draw just draw it down this marker is not that really drawn well but once you make your decision, draw it down it here. Draw it down it here. So this is how you're going to draw it. The marker is not coming out, but draw the line. Just draw the line. Follow the line and draw. Go to the left and draw. So this is one, one inch graph. Then you draw, you come down, you draw, you come down. So yeah, you're going to just bring it down here, bring it down here, bring it down. Remember I started from here, then the last one, this last one maybe it should be on top of the, the net, but remember everything you are sewing should be on top of the net or else if the the hair is melt is much it can go around the hair it can go around but this is how to mark it once you have marked like one two three four five six then you start at the middle another one on top another one on top another one so this is how to mark your 360 uh, week before you start wigging so this is the hair for 360 this hair i want to use for the 360 so this is the 360 here that i fixed it before got it ready so let's start wigging Small video. Mm, I'm not so I'll start wigging from the place I sew. I'll wig around this place and I sew. I sew in from the wig cap. So when you're wigging, check on that. I just want to sew in down where I cut the under.
Asta e din Dangit, mă așa. Nu ne-a strâns ce tu. Cot, dispis, cot și tot. Ai vide unde este. Continue down. Then start with him from here to here to here. So we get to the end. So this is after wigging. You can see the inside. I wigged it the way I draw the line from end to end, from end to end. So the 360 wig is ready. Now the next thing now is to put band on it, uh, so that it is going to be grueless uh, wig. How to put band? It's. So this is how to put the band. You are going to cut it. You are going to cut out eight inches of band. This lace is going to be at the ear to ear, and you are going to cut out again four four inches band again. This one is going to be at the back of the three sixty wig. The back where the there is a brown a rubber at the back. So the four is going to be there. So this uh, ear to ear area, you are going to use your tape and just mark, just place it from that place the so to just one inch. The other side also, one inch. So the way uh, I mark this thing, that's the way you put your band. That is where you are going to put the band. So it's going to lap very well when the person wears it so at the back you are going to start from that uh, joint place and measure a measure at least two and a half yes two and a half the other side again measure it like that two and a half that's the place you put your uh, the four inches rubber so after marking it like this the next thing now is to put the band so i'm going to first of all put the the shorter band yeah the four inches band before i'll put the the longer one the eight inches band so you can see the way uh, the hook there i'm putting it inside the space at the back or you can cut it off if you don't need it because this band I'm putting now is going to hold more than the band they put there. So you are going to first of all sew in the four inches band, sew it in, sew it in from the edge to the top of the band. So sew it in. After sewing it in, I'm going to sew in the two sides where you marked. After sewing this side. I'm going to sew the other side. Can you see? I'm going to sew the other side also. You can see there is a little bit space at the back, at the middle of the of the uh, band, because uh, 
this 360 used to be wide wider than uh, some people's head so that when the person wear the wig is going to grip at the back it's going to grip the person at the back of the head so the it will be like as if you are wearing normal cap wig do you understand so after sewing here i'm going to stretch the cap i mean the band so that the band is going to be equal with the the 360 we can you see the way i stretch it you stretch it like this can you see after sewing it the 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 360 is going to lap like that it's going to fold in like that it's going to this is just magic do you understand so you can use your your small pin to hold it your office pin to hold it or you ask somebody to help you and stretch so when you stretch you sew it in so now i'm doing it like this because i i don't have anybody that will hold it for me so i'm going to use pin you see i'm stretching it and i'm putting my office pin i'm stretching it and putting my office pin so i can be able to sew the way i'm putting my office pin that's the, the that's the way i'm going to sew that's the way i'm going to sew you can see now the hairband and the, wig, flat. and the wig cap down there is equal it's no more that the uh, this thing is down and some people use machine to sew this if you can be able to use machine to sew it in or the it's best thing there. is to use your hand it's not and they take the needle sew it in till the end so that's the main thing there after sewing it in you are going to put in the frontal uh, the ear to ear side just mark it out and you sew you can see the way i'm sewing it in i purposely put the video where i'm sewing it in so that you know how i sew it in in case if you are working on anyone you are going to sew it in like this so i'm sewing it in i'm going to sew it in till the end if you feel that it's not that strong you can go to round so it, it makes sure that it's very very tight so when the person is wearing it it will turn to blue less as in it's going to be fame on the person's head both the back both the front so for 360 week this is how i put my own band to make sure that uh, the wig grip me on my head very well so this is the practical i'm doing there so as you are sewing in make sure you sew it very tight though so it's very very tight so this is when i finished sewing it in can you see how that place gathered man it's forming like a wig so the next thing i'm going to do there is to put my other band 